Hello there, and welcome back to Planet Coaster. Uh, I caught my taped up cord on the table. If you ever hear that noise, that's what that is. <laughs> Bad intro. Yes, welcome back. Um, so, I had a, had a hankering to play this again. I, I don't know, this game's fun. I don't know why. The ATMs are too expensive. Oh are the ATMs too expensive? A dollar. How is a dollar too expensive for these people? It's fine. Maybe I didn't sink it. I think. Okay. That's fine. Ah, uh, because we got some... We got a decent amount of people here, though. Um, so the last time, if you remember, we built this. Um, kind of put these rocks all around this ride here. Actually looks fairly nice. I think, anyway, with all the rocks and stuff. Kind of sticking and it looks like some of the rocks were just kind of piled up but it's like at least there at least from this side you can't see um, can't see the ride that's kind of what my goal was um if we could fit another ride in here i'll fit another ride in here but i don't know if we will uh we will be able to uh also last time we nearly went under um because we were making very little profit. <laughs> we're, we're at about 14 grand profit now. Um, luckily. It's, like it's, it's holding pretty steady at about 1100 or about 1400 a, a month. Um, but yeah, we nearly lost the entire park last time because of this monstrosity. Um... I think every shop is open now, though. Or at least the shops that are open, we have one of uh, at the very, very least, because people started to finally, or finally started to uh, show up at our shops here. Uh, we can finally afford to start. Uh, I'm thirsty. Well, yeah, th there's not... I guess happiness is fairly good. Okay, staff. Let's check out our vendors here. All of our vendors, I think, need to be... Um, they need to be... Uh, spending some of that fat cash. Uh, we, we won't, oh, I think I just did that, that's fine. Yeah, finally got the time to f start spending money on my vendors here. Price adjustment here. I'll get a twenty dollar pay raise. We're all gonna pay you hundred bucks each. Hundred bucks a month sounds like a robbery. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay. We're all looking good. Oop. <laughs> Nearly killed that guy. He's like, oh, my paycheck just dropped. What? Dude, it was messed up. Nice. Okay, so now all of our employees are being paid. Uh, some of them are not too happy, but... Uh... Yeah, my seller is massive. Money, money, money. Yeah, everybody's happy, so... Good. And we should be able to afford doing that. Still make a profit. Oh. Never mind. We're at a several... Alright, we're at a several hundred dollar loss. <laughs> uh, do we have any more rides we can put down? Ah, uh, this one. Okay, this one's big. So we're going to need to... Um, I don't want to put it down here. I want to put it up here, but... Let's see. Uh, we can if we raise it, I suppose. Like it won't be on be able to be on the floor. I don't know, should we? Should we put it there? Or should we put it like I put these rides too close together. I need a small ride that'll fit into some of these spots. I don't want to put any rides on this main track. Um, that's a thing I do not want to do. I suppose we could put it up here and have it share some things. And then we'll have that path kind of uh, kind of go downhill as it goes by this ride. Yeah, we'll fit it in said, yeah, we did have to raise it um, in order for it to fit. Okay, so entrance. Where should the entrance be? How far away is that path? Can we even fit it? Uh, not really, no. We'll have to make a new one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, first, I want to get this path. It's a 10 meter path. Uh, why is the thing on snap working? Okay. Yeah, we're going to have this go this way. For now. And then the path can go uh, this way. Okay, it won't be able to do that. It's too steep, apparently. So we'll have to uh, manipulate our terrain just a little bit. Uh, we have to go like 15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this like this. Okay. Oh yeah, that's really steep. You can see it. So if we pull this like this, right? And that leads down here. And then what you can also do... Uh, you can also take your foundation flatten tool. And we can go... Uh, like, bang. Just kind of tap it. Um, then you can also get a... You can get a, like, a gentle slope, I should say. There you go. I want any of those. 
So then, yeah, we'll slope it this way. So then we take our smooth tool. Kind of smooth it on out. It may take a few tries. I like here. We're going to have to... Yeah, you don't want any of the all to be your gra or your uh, smooth color, I guess. Way to put it. It's getting there. I think it's gonna work though. So what you can do is you can hold control as well. Make sure it's on the ground, of course, with the shift key. Uh and moving your mouse, and then you can just drag along. As you can see, there's several places where the path is more than likely not going to work. Uh, but we will try. So we're going to follow this forest. Okay, as you can see, it, it's not going to work there. So uh, we're going to delete this path. This path. Is there anywhere that's going to allow it to work? No. Okay, it's apparently a little too steep. Right there. So I'll go to our terrain tools and we'll go to the pull tool. Let's try to pull that, try to pull that hill out a little bit more. Now you can use uh, these in combination. Smooth tool, and that'll smooth out all the bumps. Or try to, anyway. Okay. Pass. I'll take our control tool here. and right, There might be a spot in there we won't be able to use, but we'll see. Again, it's not wanting to work right there. It's not wanting to work. And you want to go uphill with your paths as well. Is that, how's that too steep right there? But I can clearly put a thing. I can put a thing, and I can put a thing. Oh, the paths in this game are just, they're so annoying to use. Okay, let's try here. So, okay. Just connect. How is that even possible? What What is there that's making it do that? <laughs> like I said, the paths in this game are, are, are a nightmare sometimes. They're just an absolute nightmare. Light nightmare. Like these two should be able to connect, but the game refuses. It says it's too uneven. Of course, it's not going to be uh, uh, even. It's going to. Let's turn the t intensity up. Try to smooth this. It's too uneven, apparently. Okay. But yeah, you want you want to try and build your paths up here. <sighs> How is that too uneven? I don't understand. I need a freaking mod to get rid of the stupid. I've looked for path mods. There's not very many, and maybe the path stuff is just. Way too much of an annoyance. Holy crap, we actually got somewhere with it. Holy crap, it's working! I don't know why it decided to work all of a sudden, but... Yeah. 
So now what I'm going to do is just kind of need the path to go this way, like this. Okay, just look. I just need you to <laughs> just connect. That's all I want you to do. <laughs> Why is it so hard? Oh, now I fucked it. Apparently. Let's put the path back. Okay. Yeah, we'll just put the path back. It's fine. And then, yeah, like I said, I wanted a dock area out here, so. Um, wait. Obstructed by what? What is the... Oh, I've had this issue before because of the water level. Okay. I'm going to raise this up just a... Uh, just a hair. This is going to be the dock area. So I'm going to select this grid. And then, yeah, we want the square edges. Why, why, why can't I... Okay. Oh, it works there. This refuses to... Okay. It's actually fine. How's that obstructed? Uh, maybe it's too low. Okay. Yeah, it's just like, maybe it's too low. Because I want a dock out here. That's what I want. But the right's going to be on my left here as well, so... Uh, select grid. Ha. Uh -huh. See so yeah, this is going to be a dock area. Or not, not, a, not a dock, but like a pier. A little pier. Very nice. I didn't want it too big. Oh, we can select this grid here. Um, left turn. Um, that allowed me to place it, apparently. Like, what the? What happened here? Somebody decided that it it can do that apparently. Okay. So yeah, and then we're gonna have like maybe some rides or some shops or something over here. Um, we'll have, definitely have like a bathroom place down here, but. All right. So now. Um, I think we're going to select the grid again. I'm just going to actually just do this instead. There we go. Also, turn off that thing. Okay, so this one's going to lead down. I know I said I wanted some rides and stuff here, but yeah, this one's going to. Uh... What the? 
That's just going to lead down to the ground. And that's just going to continue on around to the actual boating area, which we're going to have. I think. Oh, you know what? It'll just go down to there, and then we'll have something right there. How about that? That would be fun. Okay, so now that that's in place, we should be able to come over to this ride. We're actually gaining quite a bit. Of, we're actually making a profit still, which is nice. So that should be a good time. Mm-hmm. I'm going to place our entrance over here. I want it to kind of be parallel with the... Uh, up there. Okay. Uh, the exit... The exit I might have over here somewhere. You just have you exit at a different part of the park. That would be annoying, wouldn't it? Can't I just connect? I'm just going to connect the entrance to path, and then I'll place the exit. How's that? Alright, ground cube. What size is this? Three meters? Those cues are tiny. Because I think this one's going to have a lot of queue. Let go. So I want to put this cue right there. And I want to, yeah. Okay. No, stop it. So we do want to connect. Yeah, that like that. Ha! There you are. So that will connect up to that ride. I guess we'll have the exit. Oops. Uh, place exit. I'll have to place the exit up over here. Uh, something a bit like that. Paths? No. Did not connect to there. I actually want the path to end up right here if it can. Pick up that angle snap. There we go. Yeah, that don't look too bad. We'll have to do something with this. Maybe put some mic rocks or something up up against it kind of rock it out i guess or we can i guess we can bring oh, let's open this first so now this will get a few people going through um the courtyard to get over to this ride oh well, the scenery is already 100 <laughs> percent that's funny terrain, and I am going to pull up the terrain here to our ride. Wish I could pull the terrain through anything. 
Like, I have these off and it does it anyway. It's like either that or we leave it like this. Oop. Okay, this right is open, but nobody's... Oh, no. We got a few a few visitors. Um, eight bucks. Oh, she immediately changed her mind. Control. Someone needs to build benches. It costs an arm and a leg. Oh, oops. Is she gonna write it? Is she wrote it? She has like thirty. She had less. She had less money. Through the roof. Okay. Nobody likes the, the eight bucks, so we're gonna go six. Go back to six. Alrighty. Guess we'll play. Oh, guess we'll just pay that. I guess. That's fine. All right, how are we gonna? How are we gonna? Um, gussy up this thing. Uh, I actually have an idea in mind. I don't know if it's gonna work. Uh, large building, please. Oh no, I want a custom. I want to build my own custom one here. There's actually a very specific thing I'm looking for. It's like a rock arch almost. It's like a destroyed arch. I guess you could say. Okay, that ain't gonna... I don't think that's gonna work. Aren't there like circle corners and stuff? Like if we got wall pieces. i to take that out. I was like, yeah, isn't there, like, circle bits? I don't know if these fit these, right? Or fit this? No, these don't fit this. Uh, that's not ever going to fit. Curved. Like, you'd think they would get um, curved wall pieces that would fit, that actually fit the dang rides, <laughs> instead of just, uh, this kind of curve. Hey, look at this thing. Like, this is never gonna work. I don't know how I'm gonna make that work. Uh, we'll just surround it in rocks, I guess. That makes the best. <laughs> Oh, we'll make it. We'll make a little cave underneath here, maybe, or make it look like a cave. Uh, again, yeah. This ride sounds epic over here. What the heck? <laughs> Why is it <this> so epic? <laughs> Actually, want to? Yeah. Now yeah, we're gonna make a like a little cave entrance over here. Make it look like a cave entrance. I don't want it sticking up through the thing. Actually, you know what? Give me all those. Just placed. Actually, I'm gonna use these um, and just drag it or drag these rocks around the path. Scenery.
Well, I didn't mean that, but that's fine. Now we're starting to get people to path over here. Aha, uh -huh, so I'm working on the path. It's gonna take a while to fill all this in. <laughs> like the simlish language over here. Just a freaking kneecap on them rocks, huh? I don't know why, but I just I enjoyed this game way too much. I think just a man placing rocks, placing rocks, placing trees. Me and my alpine trees. <laughs> Yeah, it's so freaking epic, man. Right, it looks like we've kind of built this out of uh, out of the mountain. Kind of blasted. Got some of these bigger rocks down here. up as well. Oop, don't want to put them on top of the people. Oop, that's a small rock. I can't see no more as well. It's so dark around here. I could do like it being a daylight cycle as well. I think that's really nice. be some holes that people can see through, but I think that's okay. I heard Spanish there for a minute. Did anybody else hear that? Or am I, have I gone nuts? Could have swore I heard like Spanish. That was really strange, like, like, I don't know, man. Let's kind of fill in some of these holes here. Some of them 
smaller rocks. Actually, it looks really cool. I think, anyway. Yeah, we got to use tiny rocks now. Just kind of fit these in. You know what it reminds me of as well? <laughs> reminds me of like those water rides. Too many rocks to place over here, man. Oh, jeez. These rocks are perfect between the rails, though, I think. They got enough variation to them. make like a fence out of them. There we go. And it actually looks like people are walking around them. <laughs> wow, there's a lot to a lot to fit in here. These rocks are like 50 cents though, these plastic ones. Could you imagine? How much money would they make off of, uh, of, of all these rocks here that I've placed down? Right. I can go for like a big boulder. Fit that red end in, I think. <laughs> that don't really fit, does it? Uh, this one maybe. Uh, this one fits. There we go. So epic over here, and very annoying. <laughs> yeah, I'll place some tiny rocks right on in here. There we go. Very nice. Some more large alpine rocks. It's not exactly what I wanted there. there we go. <laughs> Somebody freaked out over there. That was really weird. I'm just trying to fill in. Um, it's like I'm just trying to fill in all the little bits. Yeah, these can go partially underneath. Yeah. 
there we go. And they can kind of fill in the holes. I actually want to do something with this. I might put a light underneath here. To make it look like maybe there's something down there. Or should we just fill it in? Yeah, we'll just fill it in, I think. fall down there. Ah, they're plastic rocks. And maybe some cushy, fake, rubbery rocks or something. Okay, give me some of this underbush. Underbush sounds, <laughs> sounds dirty. Nature. Bushes. So, yeah, give me some of those bushes. Oh. Turn this off. By the way. That way the trees stand straight up and down. Because trees don't grow sideways. I mean, they, they, they do every now and again, but it's very rare. Like, they only do... There's, there's like, a reasoning for it. Should we put in like a, a fully grown dead tree? There you go. A little bit creepy. <laughs> All right. So some more of that underbush. Something sounds like it's trying to break over there. Holy crap. Yeah, we don't want any of this grass showing. Scenery rating over here is so good as well. Okay. And then I'm going to use what's this. Eh. Where's that one? No, not that. This one. And then we'll do a uh, sur surface lock. Surface lock. And then uh, I'll paint it as well. Like this area doesn't get all that much sun, so not a whole lot of this can actually grow. There we go. I was gonna copy it, but then I was just like, no, if I do. 
But what's going to end up happening is it's going to look weird. Is that it's all at different angles. So yeah, this stuff will just uh, go right around the rocks here. We'll just carry it on in. All this stuff does need maintenance as well, so just remember the more of this you put down, <laughs> the more of it's going to be. It's gonna look so nice though. Yeah. Okay, and then terrain painting rock. Paint it underneath there. Just paint it all underneath here. There you go. There. And you're not gonna be able to see the ground anyway, but just believe this stuff is growing. <laughs> there you go, that actually turned out a lot nicer than I thought it would. Yeah. Actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. And then, yeah, what we'll do is we'll uh, put a light underneath here. Why am I being pushed? Oh, that's right, I have the scroll thing. Decorations. Iron pipe, no. I want lighting, yeah. Oh, I have curved. <laughs> I have curved swords. Curved. Swords. What you can do is you can uh like isn't there a way to like get this to actually light up? Like it'll only light up if it's under underground, right? One of the or one of these lights is always on or something. Let me put this down. Let me turn this on. Uh, stationary loop. Yeah, I want it to turn on, but I don't want it to be. Okay, this is it's a colorable floodlight, but it doesn't want to work right now. Not even the box lights want to work. Uh, oh, this one's, I guess, on-ish? It's not really working. What cottage lamp? Okay, see, that's on. That's clearly on. Um, okay, you know what? We'll just use... Uh, what are they? Um, these things. Or one of these things. We'll just use this in here. There you go. And people are going to see, like, the blue, and they're not going to understand why it's blue over here. I'm actually going to duplicate that and put it... Uh... Can I get the surface lock as well? I can. Put it into the rock. Okay. So then at night, it's going to light up blue in here. People are going to be like, oh, look at this cave over there, and then you can't get to it. Again. That type of thing. Okay, so I think that's our last ride. Oh my gosh, we're at 30 grand. 
making so much freaking money. Yeah, they're right. We do need some benches. And if, now that they'll finally stop breaking my stuff. <laughs> uh, so we can find those over here. And path extras. And then my favorite, park bench too. some some of those oh yeah and I completely forgot I was going to turn this into a park area yeah, I did not build this by the way but it looks cool uh, it's it might be able to and uh, now uh, let's a chain lantern this building. It's got 47 objects. Edit. Yeah, somebody did a really good job with this, but I'm going to have to uh, tear it apart. Fortunately. Oh, there's so much of this here. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe I should have just built my own gazebo. Probably would have been faster. Huh? These are like uh, these are like cable things to make it look like tables and chairs. Like it looks really good, but it's not functional. That's the I think that's that's the problem I have with it. Yeah, can we select? No. Okay. Yeah, we can't select like multiples. Oh, we can delete these, though. That's building... 128. I don't know what I just... if I deleted anything bad. Okay. We'll just see if we can select... Uh, the tables and chairs here. And then we'll just delete them. I think they put them in buildings. Uh, like they built them and then duplicated them, which is actually really nice because then we can just delete this kind of stuff. Some of this is part of. Oh no, it's not. Okay. okay, what I'm going to also do is I'm going to put up. Whoever, whoever built this, if they're watching, probably not. They're probably not ever going to be watching. But yeah, if you built this, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm destroying your life's work here. I want to rebuild this pathing path around here. This pathing path is horrible. <laughs> and my ding corded, my ding taped up cord keeps catching the table, and it keeps uh, keeps catching the ding table. Stop it. It's actually really annoying. If I had an actual mic, not just this pile of trash. Yeah, we need to. Um, what is that? Is there? Isn't there like a like a scenery? It's like a path extra, but it's not a path extra. What is it? Is it in? There's this one prop, or is it a prop? I don't think it's a prop. It's a, it's like misc. Is there a misc section? Not there. Uh, all. Uh, is there a misc section? Screens, displays, and tools. Maybe no. Special effects. Misc. Special effect, black to the future tire flames, no, no special effect either, I think. Audio, art shades, maybe it's a prop. Uh, signs, archways, fences, fences. Yeah, these things, these curbs, right? So supposedly you're supposed to be able to put these curbs here. Is it the curb? 
And people are supposed to avoid going through here. Uh, let's get this slightly smaller one. If you like, kind of hide it. Like, yeah, people will avoid, um, they'll avoid walking through your stuff. Yeah, putting some curbs right here. Uh, putting curbs in my plants <laughs> so they stop walking through them. Yeah, that works. Like, people are actually pathing around. That's actually nice. And then, yeah, we'll block this off as well. Yeah, that, that's that's what these are intended for. Yeah, they're, they're actually really nice. Just don't go too crazy with them, because you can get your you can get your people stuck. Um, if they uh, get into a spot where they can't walk through. I'll just, uh, since this is all path. I wish I could make this all just path, but it refuses to work uh, with the paths. Like I said, and we can select or try and like select this grid, for instance. It's not gonna work. Yeah, there, see? People are actually walking through. They're like walking through this area. They're like cutting it off for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, paths. Not paths, scenery. So now that we got that fixed. Let's go path extras. Let's put down a bunch of these picnic benches. I wonder if I can advance move this down a little bit. I want to. I want to select this building here. This one. Um. Uh, what's this? What is that? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna get rid of it though. Can I not? Oh, these are just bits. They're just actual bits. Oops. Can we not select this bit? Yeah, we'll just have to deal with that. Uh oh, I'm in the <laughs> I'm in the ceiling. Okay, yeah, we'll just deal with that. Uh, yeah, at least people aren't sinking into the floor as much. <laughs> that was my main. Yeah, they're still sinking into the floor. Oh, we can advance move this a little bit lower. You know, that's not too bad. And then we'll take this. That advance move it as well. I 
I'll just sink up below, like slightly below. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, that works. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll go... Now we'll go scenery. The path extra so we'll get these picnic benches. For like people. Okay, so how do we want to... I want to do this. Yes, yes, get out of my way. Use this as like a guide. And we can put one in the center. I'm just, I, I just uh, using it as a guide to put it. Or try to keep them in line. Hey, that bench, I was going to delete that bench. Get off my bench. Same with this one. Get off my bench. There. Yeah, you guys sit there. Okay. <laughs> there, they're sitting down with their water. Yeah, look at that. That's that's actually nice. It's a nice little, nice little area. We won't be able to put one here. Well, I, I might be able to stick one there. But... Okay. And I want to stick one here, and oh, some people are going to walk through. There's something there that's, oh, there you go. Stop walking through my area for my benches, dang it. Yeah, this is like a, uh, yeah, this is like a food court type area. Hope you can see my curves a little bit there. It's okay. Yeah. Actually looks pretty nice. A little bit cramped, but there's there's walkways and pathway th pass uh, pathways through there. Now most people are gonna go around because, well, that's all up. Uh, Select both of these. And smooth. Drop those below. There we go. Select this one. Advanced move. They like walked out of the path there for a second. I really wish I could connect this. <laughs> that irritates me that I can't. people won't walk through your scenery and it actually looks fairly decent yeah right here got screwed up massively <laughs> yeah like I said it doesn't look the best uh, in certain areas like I've definitely I've definitely had better um, it's hard to get these paths hooked up correctly Yeah, I don't mind people walking through the poles because it's not going to matter all that much. Which you can do as well. We're going to scenery. Uh, let's go for the spooky bench. Put a spooky bench over those scenery benches. <laughs> Don't look very comfortable. The kid's like, ah! <laughs> yeah, that looks nice, though. 
Oh yeah, we should probably have some trash cans, huh? Let's see, what I'm gonna do is... Uh... No, nah, we got trash cans around the outer edge. I think it's alright. We can have trash cans on these poles, or on these corners here. Or at least that corner. And that corner. There we go. Okay, we're making tw uh, two grand profit. How's our workers doing? Actually doing pretty well. Uh, I haven't had a minute to myself all day. I can't work anymore. I need to rest. Okay, what about you? Uh, my work isn't pushing me enough. You haven't had a minute to yourself. Um... Just gonna start training. We got enough staff here now that uh, I kind of want to get them all to level three. That will all give them. Oh, that's why I was confused because one of them, I guess, was already idling. Just happened to. Okay. Boop boop. Boop boop. boop. $110. Everybody gets a $10 bonus boost. Almost done. This is the management part of the game. Yeah, I wish I could, like, just do it over everybody. Now, hopefully, a lot of these will be level 3 here real soon. But they'll be able to, um... They'll be able to work fairly, fairly comfortably. Yeah, this is quite crowded. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's open that up. Uh, I don't think we have a, a. No, we got a wandering vendor. Oh no, they're gonna. Uh, let's open you up as well. So we need what? Two new vendors? Yeah, we need two new vendors. Jeez, dude. It is absolutely nuts around here. What is with these balloons? They look weird. <laughs> yeah, it is quite busy around here. Two new vendors, I think. Yeah, we need two new vendors. Maybe uh, we'll do three new vendors because there's a... There's there's a thing over here. Uh, edit building with selected part. And I am going to delete that stone rail. Alright, done. Okay, now we're going to open this. Three new vendors. Uh, four new vendors. Yeah, four new vendors. Okay. Park management. Uh, hire some staff. One, two, three, four. There. Actually, five new vendors. There, five new vendors. I put them in a trash can. Whoops. <laughs> Quite literally, like a bully. So now we can have, um, we can take a workload off of some of the more, oh my gosh, it's a little laggy over here, I would say. 
with all the lighting and stuff. I like how there's one ATM as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not opening the information booth. Might stick an ATM somewhere else. That's what I like. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, where should we stick an ATM? Maybe right here ish. Shop some facilities. A uh, ATM. Do you have any? Do we have any standalone ATMs? Uh, we do. Standalone ATMs. Okay, got a couple of them. I'm gonna put these at the front of the park. So yeah, we'll put these right here. These are perfect for this. Let's go right here. Obstructed. What is it obstructed by? I don't understand what that's obstructed by. What is that? What's it obstructed by? Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll stick it. We'll stick it right, right here. Right. That's a good spot for it. ATMs. And then these ATMs, they should be, yeah, they should be a dollar. So yeah, as soon as you enter, there's a, there's a ATMs that you can pull out money out of your bank account and spend to us, please. <laughs> Alright, since we got so much money, we're going to go back, we're going to right back to research. Uh, researching on uh, these flat rides and stuff. because we need some more rides to put into our park. We've actually turned it into quite a nice park. Um, I know I didn't build these. Um, I did not build these buildings. I just arranged them in this way. Because <laughs> I wanted like a town square sort of style. You know, where there's a bunch of different shops and things. Um, so I wanted like kind of like a town square style and then have like a road down the middle with a couple of like centers like you got, you got loony balloons here. These were all built by the Fantastico. Uh, what's their face? Blueprints. Uh, the person that built this train station. Probably shouldn't have had that. Now it's gonna lag. I probably can't. I'll have to view their name at some time. Yeah, these were built by that Fantastico person. They have a huge. Um, they, he they have a huge range of shops and facilities and such. Like you can see here. Um, bank building. Steampunk bake building. Oh, that's ATMs. All blueprints. Um, let's see if I can find one of the buildings that I put in. Uh, that I put together here. Or I didn't put, like I said, I didn't put them together. I just arranged them in this way. <laughs> to kind of fit what I wanted. Out of it. Oh. Uh, that's not one of the shops. Where's one of the shops? Are they gone? Oh, well, they should be gone. Trying to find them. Where would they be? Yeah, blueprint. Um... Ah, here we go. Simple set. So if you type in simple set into the scene workshop, 
um, you'll find the person that made all this stuff. So like here's the the food court with tables. You got the food corner toilet. Yeah, you can see these are all individual buildings that I like. I said I just kind of I just arranged them in this in in the way um, that makes sense. But that kind of makes sense anyway. Um, yeah, so it's fine. Okay, but yeah, I kind of wanted like a town square store sort of style. Um, that that was uh, perfect. All right, so here's the other thing I want, right? Rides, track rides, not track rides. Oh, we don't have a Ferris wheel unlocked yet. That's right. Well, let's fast forward. And uh, see you in a moment once I've done this research. So I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to take a little bit of a break, actually. Okay, and there we go. Take a nice little break, take a drink, all that stuff. A forge. A magical whirl. And Tristorm, which we already kind of have. That's not exactly the rides I wanted. Um, but we'll we'll deal with it, I guess. Uh, the forge actually should be inside of a mountain, I think. <laughs> but over here. Let's make a mountain ride. Stick this uh, stick this in this in this mountain here. I think that'd be pretty cool, right? Uh, terrain. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta go terrain. We gotta sculpt the terrain. We gotta flatten the terrain foundation. Um, we just go in here. Yeah, these trees should not be locked. I should be able to. Okay. And then yeah, we're gonna carve out this mountain here. And then, yeah, we got to get rid of all these trees. Which should give us a little bit of money. Yeah. I think the only trees that are locked are the ones that the game has placed. Okay. All I'm going to do is we're going to grab that ride. It's right here. Stick it in here. Um, make sure flattened terrain is not on. Okay, good. And it's like since this ride's called the forge, we might as well build a forge. There we go. Okay, so terrain. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the terrain up around the ride, so it should respect the ride. Um, which I, sometimes I wish it didn't, but, uh, yeah, it's like it should, should respect the ride. Okay. And yeah, pull it all the way around. So, yeah, let's pull this back up, like it's part of the mountain again. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, right? This is how you would kind of do this. Ish. Uh, this won't be a full tutorial, but it can be a little bit of one. Gonna pull our mountain like this. And create these little cliffs. Okay. Just to give it, give your, give your slope. So yeah, just like that. Uh, I'm going to leave that there. That actually looks pretty nice. Uh, so we're going to pull this like this. Oop. Okay, we won't do that there. We'll just have to leave that flat or bring it up. Uh, let's push this back. There we go. Yeah, that'll, that right will be fully encapsulated in a, in a thing. And I'm actually going to pull this part of the mountain 
since the mountain's already here. Yeah, I'm just going to pull this up. So that way I have some room to play. Yeah, I'm going to pull that down. I'm actually going to flatten this out a little bit. Um, and this here. Let's uh, carve this out, yeah. Ah, lag. Holy crap, our monthly profit went up to nine grand. That's insane. It needs to be day so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, yeah, pull that like that, that's fine. Oh, uh, now I can't, now I really can't see what I'm doing here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to smooth. Smooth this out like that. It's been a while since I've done this, so it may take me a few tries to actually do what I want to do. Yeah, and if you were doing like a desert, uh, like desert rock and stuff like that, you could leave this like this, and it would be really nice, actually. Look really good. But I'm going to go ahead and chisel... So this tool, whatever the angle's at, as you can see, like the angle's like this, whatever this angle's at, it's going to stay at that angle. So when I pull it, um, there's also some trees I'm going to have to lower. But yeah, as you can see, it's going to chisel right on in. Uh, so I want to chisel this, and this, what it, this is doing is it's creating like an erosion look. Okay, so I wanted to chisel, uh, let's see, I want to chisel like that. As you can see, it's kind of, it's kind of chiseling it out. Chisel this way a bit. Chisel a bit more. Chisel a bit more. This is how I created these mountains, by the way a bit more. And don't worry about uh, digging into the ground here. You can always fix it later. And then, yeah, I want to chisel this down like that. Um, I actually kind of like the way it was. Uh, yeah, I'll chisel that down. There we go. See how it's creating these, like, edges? It's kind of what you want uh, when making mountains. Yeah. Chisel this. Chisel that down. Just a little bit. So then it looks like it's part of the mountain, essentially. Um, looks like it kind of screwed up with the trees there. Actually, I'm gonna pull this back. This actually looked fairly good without some of that chiseling there. A, sometimes you use a smaller brush and stuff like that. You can also use the roughen tool to kind of give it a little more of a rocky look, so it's not so smooth. Um, like this here. And what it does is it just kind of pulls the hills around and makes them look rocky and eroded. Okay, so uh, since we had to readjust, take these trees. Also, you want to be careful because this is going to select below. It selects through terrain, I should say. Um, okay, then we're going to advance move those. Stick them in the ground. There we go. So now they're stuck in the ground. This tree, we're just going to advance move it. Stick it back in the ground. There's a few trees in here that I need to multi-select, holding shift to select these. Let's move. Just stick those into the ground a bit. There we go. 
Yeah, when you're making a huge map like this as well, you'll notice on this map there probably is a few trees here and there that are like sticking out of the ground, um, that or that are like placed on top of each other. Um, that's not a good example. Um, I found a few here and there, um, or like sticking out of ground like this. If you ever see one that's not, it's because I, I I had the trees in place and then I didn't like it, adjusted the terrain. I didn't realize uh, I had missed a tree or two. I was fixing the train. Okay, so now, and then we're going to terrain and we're going to paint this, obviously. Because it can't be grass. It needs to be a rock. Oh, this day night cycle is going way too fast. Um, there. I've, I actually have more money than I've ever had. <laughs> actually quite funny. And then, yep. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to terrain sculpt. And we're going to push. But they... I don't want to push too much, so I'm going to put a, push it with a um, terrain tool here. I actually have a flashlight on my, on my person, or on my camera, but I don't remember how to use it. <laughs> So yep, we're going to push this out. So that we can reveal the ride. Uh, once you get inside here, of course. Obviously, it's not going to be perfectly smooth keeps moving my camera, and it's actually really annoying. <laughs> my camera's stuck in the terrain. There we go. Ah. Okay. That's like perfect. Oh, there's a hole. Smooth. Why is that creating a hole? Not that. That way, yeah, when you get into this tunnel, you're going to realize just how big this ride is. And don't worry, we'll get some, like, menacing lights and stuff for it as well. Uh, we also need to push a bit more. Right here. So the right can't hit anything. Oh, it's auto painting for me. Okay. That's I was wondering what was happening. Just like, man, that is really weird. There we go. And then we'll splash a bit of this around in there. Just make it this kind of gives it a little bit of depth. Yeah, now we have the forge. We could surround it in lava. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, actually. Uh, train. Actually, while we're doing this, we should start uh, research on um, some track rides. Sure. Three grand. And we're going to be spinning 
nine grand this month, or nine grand per month on research. It's quite a bit because we're not making quite that much. We're making about six, five to six grand a month. All right, terrain. Yeah, I think we're going to do that as well. It's going to auto paint, which is fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the terrain around here. Ah! <laughs> Still can't see. It's okay though. I think there is like there should be like uh, pieces you can you can get that make it look like lava. Um, that'll probably be under scenery. Maybe a special effects maybe. Um, Pyrotechnics, um, magma panel. Uh, magma panel is a pretty good way of doing that. We also need to turn off this. So what you do is you you advance move and duplicate and then we do that and then we'll go like this connect them together okay and what we'll do is we'll take this um, put it in a layer group or merge scenery into a scenery group and we'll advance, duplicate, move. That should work. And there we go. Now we've got our magma plates. <laughs> and then... Uh, ungroup scenery, ungroup scenery, ungroup scenery, ungroup scenery. We're going to select it all. And merge into scenery group. And we're going to uh, advance, duplicate, and move. So I wanted about this level, but maybe a little lower. So let's lower it down. Um, it's actually rotated as well, so it's like this instead. Like that, okay. And then, yeah, we'll pull it over to the side. Make sure it sticks into the rock. Make sure it's not sticking out the sides. Advanced duplicated move. Pull it through. Oops. Okay, we're going to have to move both of these. Still good. Actually, gonna lower this even more. So it's like down here. Uh, advanced duplicated move. Okay. 
mark. Uh, that's duplicated move. Check. together. Let's duplicate the move. I don't know if this is a mod or not. I don't know if somebody made this or this was just in the game. But if it was in the game, I'm sorry if I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've looked at any of this stuff. And... And anywhere it didn't meet, I'm, I think I'm just going to pull, uh, pull our terrain. Okay. Right. We'll just, uh, pull our terrain up and over the edges here. Call it the forge, so that's why I'm, that's the only reason I'm doing this kind of stuff. There we go. Look at that, beautiful. And we'll just like that. Yeah, and it doesn't look like molten lava. I suppose we could fill it with water, and that might help. Get this under terrain. Water. It's going to be rough water. We were to fill it like that. That give it like a yeah. That gives it like a liquid look. Oh, that looks good actually. Yeah, that gives it like a liquid look, like it's like it's moving. Very nice. Um, then yeah, we can obviously go around and select them all. And put them all on a scenery group, uh, merge into a scenery group. And then we can advance move the whole entire thing. So I want to put this like, yeah, like right below the water level. Or maybe. Put it a bit downwards. So I don't want people looking at that and going, oh, that's not lava. You know what I mean? Let's see how well it looks in the daylight here. And then I want like spews of uh, liquid uh, of water. Or not water of uh, lava. I don't know if that is an effect I can have or not. But yeah, like I said, I need to put some lights in here so I can actually see what I'm doing. Because I don't remember the controls. Yeah, let's look it up. I'm tired of it. Controls. Mouse controls, optic controls. Path, terrain, coaster, building, edit mode, general shortcuts, general shortcuts, pan, camera, rotate camera, toggle free look camera, increase free look camera speed, cancel placement, delete object, change simulation speed, uh, pause simulation, undo, redo, duplicate, Move, edit, show, focus, hide. Miscellaneous camera controls. Security cameras. Oh, we can look through the security cameras. I don't know if we get... uh, Controller-based camera. 
I don't want any of this. Uh, objects placement controls path edit mode. Uh, terrain edit. Isn't there like... I thought there was a flashlight. Maybe object placement. Uh, toggle, 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 no. Uh, mouse controls. Yeah, I thought it'd be under like general shortcuts. Like you can pan the camera, pan the camera, rotate the camera, zoom the camera in and out, toggle free look, increase free look speed, cancel placement, close browser, deselect. Yeah, okay, delete object, change simulation speed, pause simulation, redo, uh, duplicate building, duplicate, move, edit building. Sure, hide user interface. Uh, right control, right shift G. Jeez. <laughs> That's really weird. Focus camera. Uh, camera torch. Camera torch. Why is it called a camera torch? <laughs> Whatever. Camera light. Could have been just fine. There, look at that. Now we can see. Um, now we can see we need to paint. <laughs> Figured it out, guys. We don't want any greenery in here. It's going to be solid rock. Um, obviously, because it's going to be very hot. Nothing's going to be able to live. I'm probably painting somewhere up top, and I didn't realize it. And actually, the jaggedness might smooth it out a little bit. Uh, terrain, sculpting, um, let's see, paint. Uh, apply the paint style that is currently under your cursor. When yeah, we'll do that for now. Um, smooth, but I want it. I want a smaller brush. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I'm going to smooth it out a little bit, but I'm going to leave it uh, rough and jagged around the edge. I just don't want it to look like, um, you know, with these, uh, <laughs> the right operator is like, am I ever going to get to go home? There we go. Okay. So yeah, we got a general light. It does kind of look like lava a little bit. Let's say. Like you can't, it's hard to tell. It, look like, it looks like it's undulating. Can we, uh, I want to advance to move it down just a hair. There's a little more liquid on top. Yeah. Nice. Actually, we should probably... Can we do, like, rough... Oh, this is a rough water? What is this? It's like calm water. But I, I thought I selected rough water. Uh, rough water, standing water, dirty water. I do dirty water. That's about as good as rough water was, anyway, standing water. I want dirty water, though. A little bit darker. 
It's like, yeah, the, the rough water wasn't really doing it either. That's, I don't think that, it's not big enough, I don't think. Big enough a pool to be rough. As you can see, it's actually... Yeah, this has the same effect. We'll do dirty water, that way it's like um, a little bit darker, kind of pulls this out of it a little bit. Okay. So then scenery. Dude, look at our money. We are so profitable. Lava splash large. Oh, we need to uh, surface lock. Uh, huge. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to lower that to about there. Okay, so this will give us our lava. Then, can I select this, please? I'll delete that, actually. You fire. <laughs> There's some cool stuff in here. I uh, like lava plume small. Is it? There it is. Yeah, like it's like boiling. And then we can do large. These are cool. I would like. Yeah, like it's exploding. That's pretty cool. So yeah, the lava splash large. We can get those in a grid. That would work as well. The only problem with these is they're so uh, they're so small. <laughs> like you need like a big, big one uh, in order to make this work. That's okay. We can make it work though. Okay. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate an advanced move. I'm also going to, um, yeah, I'm going to check mark this, but I'm going to, um, I'm going really to advance move angle snap, angle snap, and I want to rotate this so that the effect is not the same. And then I'm going to duplicate an advance move again. And kind of put it about the same distance, and then again we're going to rotate. Okay. Now we're going to advance move. And this should be the final position. Now we're going to advance move one more time, and I'm going to put one in the middle. Oh, you know what? I do this. Sorry. That. Okay. Get advance move. Advance move. Oh, well, these are kind of glitching now. There's too many. 
Oh no, there's two on top of each other. That's 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 why this didn't. Never mind. I was like, oh no, there's too many. Uh, yeah, that's what happens if you put uh, too many on top of each other like this. They kind of glitch. Why? Yeah, we need to move these, I think, a little bit closer to each other. If we were to do this, this. Uh, I think they're a little too close. Like, we're trying to grid them, and it's not going to work. Maybe we should offset. Like, offset. A little bit closer. There's too many, too much effect. That's gonna be the problem, right? Because there's just gonna be too damn many. <laughs> uh, to place. It's like the only way uh, we can get this to work, supposedly, I guess, yeah, if we offset them. like that. I want kind of a random effect as well. But we don't want them fighting over effects. It sounds so slimy. As well, I could do that. Wait, I don't know why uh, it undoes two. It's so weird. Oh, that one duplicated somehow. Oh, did I? Oh, I'm accidentally duplicating. Oops, that's fine. Grabbing that top arrow. Actually, really annoying. Okay. So, Gab says a basic lava effect. We select them all, uh, duplicate, duplicate them. Then we can kind of create this advanced effect. It is kind of glitching. Like, why is it glitching? Oh, we just, I think we just got too many on top, like, right on top of each other. Okay, so let's undo that, yeah. Um, like, we move this out here, and yeah, that'll stop glitching. Let's move, let's move this one out, out this way. And we just kind of got to spread them out, I think. a little bit, but yeah, I kind of want a random effect, so. So it'd be best if they weren't all in the same, uh, they weren't all in the same position. Okay, so they're no longer glitching. Advanced move. The reason I do advanced move is so that I can, um, uh, so then I can get them all, I can keep them all on the same level. And then what I'll do is I'll do this, I'm going to do this, and then this. Maybe? 
It kind of looks interesting. I don't know if it looks good. It's interesting. So let's merge that, merge that into a layer group. I'm going to advance move it. Oh. Keep grabbing that damn top arrow. Stop it. Okay, some of these are going to have to... Okay, you know what? Oh, it's going to be too many. So, oop. So now I've seen a group. Let's move it. Okay, there we go. I like that better. And then we'll just rotate it around. Okay, so on the surface level of the water is where we want next to take place. Like that, yeah. Maybe a little, a little bit higher. Oh, I kind of lost my scenery a bit here. I'm trying to duplicate advanced moves so we keep it on the same level. And yeah, I'm going to. Rotate it. Like that, and let's move it again. Nope, and I lost it. But yeah, we have a couple on top of each other, but I think that's fine. Also, kind of move it around so that it fits, it doesn't quite overlap. Okay. <laughs> what is happening over there? Jeez. Let's move. time I get it over there, it's going to be about this angle. That's what I need it at. Okay, then. Oh, that. I'm select again. Duplicate and, duplicate and advance move. actually going to oh dang it I hate when you undo it it doesn't just undo one thing it undoes like several moves from where you placed it so it'll just undo the whole thing <laughs> just like oh, why couldn't they have programmed it to where it so I wanted to rotate this like that like why couldn't they have programmed it to where like after that rotation, it saves, and then when I if I need to undo, I just undo that rotation. But then it doesn't; it's not fully placed yet, so it shouldn't matter. Okay. Again, we'll select it. Can advance move one more time or another time? I was gonna say one more time. It's just like that that just kind of increases the randomness of everything so that there's uh, not really a whole lot of repeating patterns okay advance move That'd be beautiful. Oh, 
Dang it. So then what I have to do is I have to cancel duplicate advance move and redo because I accidentally grabbed the green arrow. I hate when I do that. You accidentally grab a, an arrow that you're not supposed to. Yeah, see how easy it is to grab that green arrow when you're trying to grab the red one? Uh, so annoying. That you can do that so easily. And, yeah, rotate like that. Okay. I'm gonna select it again. Uh, duplicate and advance move. Rotate. Just like that. I'm actually. Ugh, come on. Because you can't undo the move. Um, which is really annoying. Too many on top of each other, I think. So we need to delete this one and this one. Actually, it looks just fine. Yeah, and it. <sighs> Stupid camera! Oh, dude. Look at that, man. Oh. It looks like lava. It really does, like, it, it actually looks decent. Okay, I will be going in here and um, deleting a few of them that you can't... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. There might be a few of them you can't see, but... Uh, that adds to it. Like, a bit of their thing is, like, doing that. Oh, dude, now this is a forge right here. This is beautiful. <laughs> I would love to go to a theme park that had something like this. It would be amazing. Okay. Scenery. And I like how it goes. <laughs> Plasma explosion. Lava pouring. Lava pouring. Oh, the effect is not... Well, okay, it's reaching. All right, we'll have lava pouring from the ceiling. How about that? Wait, why is it? Oh, it's weird. Oh, it's weird. My camera's... Why is it doing this? Hold on. Um, align to surface. There we go. <laughs> that looks really weird. Oh, what? Aligned to surface is backwards? What the hell? Why is aligned to surface backwards? Okay, something weird is going on with that. Yeah, aligned to surface is backwards. Like, you'd have to place this perfectly flat if you wanted to. Okay, we're going to turn that off then. Um, align the surface because it's not working. Oh, that looks like it's pouring out like it's spewing out of the mountain. That's really cool. Like it says this is large, but huge. Here we go. Yes. It's like a waterfall. Oh, jeez. Oh, that looks so cool. Let's uh, put it there. And then I'm going to um, advance move this bad boy so we can get it in place.
So if we were to put it like this, right? That one, it wouldn't look, really look good. Uh, unless... Advanced move. Let's make a wider one. Yeah, just a big old waterfall, dude. So now that we got a place, what we're going to do is we're going to get some rocks. So scenery. Uh, we want nature. We want rocks. Uh, we probably want these rocks, these these black ones. Or, let's see, grassland rocks. Is there any, like, oh, here we go, tropical rocks. These, these look more like, um, and there's a reason I'm going to use these. Get tropical rock. Um, align the surface. Yeah, align the surface. Okay, that, that's a bit too big. Because, uh, uh, well, no, they don't really look as good as I thought they did. Uh, they're kind of glassy. Like, that's what I wanted to go for ice rock or snow boulders. Uh, what about these grassland rocks? Do these look like, you know, desert rocks? No. Uh, let's go with these ones then, the deciduous. Um, or you just go for alpine, I guess. Alpine's fine. Uh, let's turn off angle snap. And we'll kind of create a little hole here where it's pouring out of. I guess that matches the matches the rest of it. I got that screen scrolling thing. Like it's a, it's a wonder that this rock hasn't like melted. I hate the music. Don't hate the music playing. Heck, oh, I was reaching the camera's edge. I hate when it moves like that, and I don't understand why. Yeah, we'll just put a few. There we go. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> I actually like that. Um, also, what we're going to do with the train here is sculpt. We're going to uh, roughen a little bit. Turn this effect down to like 50%. Um, and I'll kind of give it a a little bit because caves are never smooth right so we need we need a rough look of this cave here make it look like it was mined out chiseled it. I might, I might still need a, oops. let me turn that edge scrolling off. Edge scrolling is actually kind of annoying. Um, now we need to make sure when we run this ride, 
we, let's do a test. Let's see what this ride does. So I think the arm's left, yeah. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to push back some of the rock. Uh oh. I didn't realize it lifted that high. Okay. Uh, pause. Perfect. Perfect pause here. Alright, terrain. Let's push. Uh, push the terrain. Like I said, I did not realize it, uh, I didn't realize it did that. Okay. Yeah, we may have to, um, push away some of this terrain and kind of pull it up and out. And I'm just gonna get rid of these trees here. because we're going to have to reshape this entire mountain. There we go. I'll just uh, lightly push away the mountain. <laughs> Until we can get this ride um, uh, not being able to hit rocks and stuff. Or not being able to hit the terrain. I did not realize it did this. <laughs> I thought it just kind of lifted up a little bit and spun in place, but now it actually does, like, uh, bring you clear up here. So yeah, like I said, we're going to have to reshape the mountain around it. Let's play this, just to make sure that we've cleared, no, we have not cleared, okay. Push this out, yeah, that looks good, right, we're going to push this as well, we're going to core this out a bit more, around the outer edge. <laughs> like we're in an active volcano. Are you still kind of at risk of hitting the terrain over here? Oh my gosh, you're hitting the terrain on this side as well. Okay. Oh. Pour that out. Oh, you just hit all the terrain on this side as well. Okay. <laughs> this is not as good as I wanted. <laughs> okay. So we have to pull everything from here. Sorry, I bumped the mic there. Yeah, I want that. I want the ride to be running. Okay, so there's a few rocks over here. No. I didn't select the ride, you fuck. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna have to uh, remove all this for now. We'll, we'll redo it, it's fine. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> it selected the ride, which was stupid that it did that. What? Why is it selecting the... How is it selecting the ride? Yeah, how is it selecting that ride? I don't... I don't get it. Okay, we'll delete one rock at a time, for fuck's sake. Because that fucking hitbox is retarded. It doesn't know how big they're... Oh, 
actually don't want to delete the lava the lava thing. Um, like I said, we'll redo it. It's fine. Um, I'm actually going to push the terrain back a bit, so we'll have to move that lava back a little bit further. Okay. Okay, you're not at risk hitting the rock over here, over here, it looks like. Alright, cool. So now, here's, here's how we would do this, I guess, then. I guess we just pull out here instead. <laughs> I'm giving myself lots of terrain to work with as well. Okay, we're gonna have to rebuild an entire freaking mount. <sighs> I don't care if we cover it, but uh, it's, uh, the uh, scenery stuff. I really want this to be like an active volcano. <laughs> I'm actually going to turn back on uh, auto paint. So then you add auto re auto paints the mountain. Okay, so then I'm going to pull, I'm just going to pull this over we keep pulling we keep pulling this up just so we can close it Same with this side. Right, let's turn that intensity up just a little bit. There we go. Get it going a little faster here. Oh, this looks weird as hell. Tell you that much. We'll just start pulling it down and around. And yeah, like I said, we're going to have to reshape this. I'm going to create this as another peak then, since we had to shape it. And yeah, we're going to be bearing a lot of trees as well. It's going to be weird to shape this because we've got the... Just because of how weird this looks. We're going to be having a lot of berry trees. Okay. Oh, that looks freaking cool in there, though. Sometimes the, the mount or the, the camera gets stuck in this. It's actually quite irritating. Okay. So now we're going to see about this ride here. Right, train. Push. It's 
So it normally runs around here, so. And we're just gonna push this back a little bit. Like that. Say so you're close to the walls, but you're not. not uh, gonna ever hit it yeah we'll have a few like lava what I'm thinking about doing is uh, uh, thinking about just like kind of pushing kind of think about just uh, pushing a lot of this out like this so that it's all kind of flat walled I guess uh, in some regards. What happened down here? We did plan for having a bigger lava pool, it's fine. So we should be good. I'm gonna set uh, my camera out here. Let's see if that ever hit or if it ever comes close. I don't think it will now. Yeah, looks freaking cool though. Keep selecting the ride, and it's actually quite annoying. All right, we're going to um, wanted to advance with this. Raise this clear up here. Oh, we can't. Dang it! That's actually kind of annoying. But you can't do that either. Yeah, it doesn't go as far as. I wanted to. I suppose we could like do uh, do like this, pull it up into there. But we kind of, like I said, gotta be careful. Um, let's merge that into a senior group, and then we're going to. I don't think you'll ever hit this, right? Like it'll come close. It swings outwards. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever hit that. Such a weird ride, this. Not. So I'm going to move it back just a little bit so it's it's closer to the wall. Okay. Uh, now we're going to duplicate an advance move. And then we're going to move this down. I like that. At least it doesn't have a bottom piece to it. That's why they didn't add bottom effects to the waterfalls, so you could like, so you could connect it like this. No, don't select the ride. Just select this. Right, 
indicate an advance move. And then, yeah, we'll just drag it right along until it gets to the waterfall. All we can do is we go boop. That machine group duplicate it. Oops. I think I. Whoa. Now the camera's like moving super fast all of a sudden. Why? <laughs> ah, the camera. Glitching out there. Wait, what it. It selected a building piece. Um. Remove that senior group. I just want these. Okay, there we go. Right, put that in a senior group. Now we're going to duplicate an advance move. And then what I like to do is I like to um, make it just a little bit thicker. Here we go again. <laughs> Stupid camera. The camera is like the worst in this game sometimes. Yep, and then we'll take our terrain and we'll pull it. smaller. It's not affecting so much around it. There we go. And that hides the deals. Um, I actually advanced. Let's move, basically. Let's, let's move them back just a little bit more. So it stops glitching. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We got ourselves a, a waterfall. Or waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put that into a senior group, and now I'm actually going to advance move it downwards a bit. with this camera sometimes, man. Like, the camera, like, it, it gets stuck in the terrain a little bit, uh, even though I can clearly move through the terrain. There's a few... Oh, there's a few tunnels that I didn't fill in. That's actually kind of funny. A few holes out there in the world. Which, uh, you may run yourself into. Oh yeah, I forgot about that tunnel. I was going to have the guests come in right over here and come up this way <laughs> at that time. And I just, I, I, I abandoned the idea and then just put the, the thing back where it was supposed to be. Terrain, or not terrain, scenery. Let's get our rocks. Rotation, as well on the camera, is so like massive sometimes. <laughs> like you just want to rotate a little. And now I'm in the lava. Ah, I'm in the lava. I, I'm just pressing W, and it's like zooming forward. Uh, the camera can be horrendous. All right, let's turn this off for a minute. Oh, now I can't select the ride. <laughs> right, stop. 
That way we stop getting our camera mixed in. Okay, had to adjust my headset there. My headset's always constantly falling off my head, and it's super tight on my head, but if, or it's tight on my head like it should be, and then it just tries to fall off anyway. Okay, yeah, we want this to we want this to look like it's coming out of a, a hole here. So we don't want you to be able to see in behind. Yeah, that works. Okay. We can have it like coming out of there. And then that's what's that's what's keeping it full. And the other thing I wanted to do is that this looks like it's lava powered like in the dark and stuff, so I was like you know, I was coming up with a really great idea that what if we were to say like take a special effect. Like a lava pouring large. And then a lot of uh Plasma explosion? Oh my gosh, no. No, that's uh, for the ground effect. Bottle pouring large. Uh, where are you at? Okay, seriously. Where is this thing? It's like not even here, man. Oh, it's trying to... It's trying to do the... I'm holding... What the? My controller's disconnected. Oh, der. I'm an idiot. I forgot that uh, stupid camera scrolling. Okay, yeah, this align to surface thing screws with these so hard for some reason. I don't know why. Is that large? That's large. So I want this to pour like uh, into the okay we're gonna have to just place it and then now we gotta try to find it it's so tiny the camera controls are abysmal All right, uh, advanced move so now we can do this. There we go. So yeah, and then we'll put like, um, so we got that pouring in. And that's, that's the big one as well. Which is quite annoying. <laughs> it's alright though. So yeah, then we gotta go scenery. Um, then we gotta go nature, rocks, lots of bushes. Then we gotta put some tiny rocks around this one. Make it look like it's pissing out of a little, a little tiny bit here.
probably ruining it now. Huh? <laughs> yeah. So now if you look up, you can see that like pouring into the ride. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, so they're collecting lava. reset of the camera. So now we can do those other special effects we wanted to do, which is um, these ones. We'll put a few of these around. Yeah, looks like um bursting bubble like lavas. Uh actually it looks really cool. Actually I like I'm enjoying this right here. Put a bunch of these around. Yeah. I'll check out that scene. I like it. Lava falling, lava falling large, lava pouring, lava falling. Uh, what's lava falling? Is that like the lava fall? Oh yeah, it doesn't go very far. That's the large. Huge explosion. Jeez, that's gonna scare the shit out of somebody, yeah? We're just walking in. I don't know, what is with it putting it, like, way out of the way? Okay. This is like, poof. <laughs> okay, we'll have that. A colorful fire, colorful fire. Explosions. Fire jet small, fire jet thin, fire jet wide. Fire jets. Flamethrower, flame, flamethrower, burst, flamethrower. Oh, yeah, you gotta have a few of these, right? Or should we? What is with this? Where is this? Like, why Why is it a million miles away? Keeps trying to put it a million miles away. Like, why? Somewhere where I can use it, damn it. Yeah, these are definitely the large ones. The huge, but this is a lot more like a waterfall rather than a... So if you wanted this, you'd have to like... Oh.
Yeah, it's gonna work. And then the camera needs reset again. Jeez. Oh, that has disappeared entirely. So we got like a ton of them now bursting around the ride. <laughs> you know what? I'm okay with that. These things are... We could have a few of these, I suppose. A burst. Let's throw a narrow. Nah, I don't want it. Ambiance. Is there any, any like, um, not mists, smoke? Oh, yeah, we're gonna have smoke, right? At the top. Smoke burst, smoke burst. Uh, colors, colorful smoke large. Oh, no, that's like a... Well, I guess, uh, we can use it. But we gotta... We do need like a... Like, it's gonna be like a gray... Instead, uh, let's see what kind that would be. I guess like a light gray. Yeah, if we were to do that, it would be no. Um, Mist rubble fall large. Mist large. Oh, it's not a mist though. I, I want like just like smoke kind of hanging around. Floating newspaper falling debris. What are these? Steam. Steam would probably be the best. I think. Um. Team. Is this even doing anything? Oh, it is. It's just very... It's very light. Man, that is subtle. That's not what I want. Steam boiling large. Yeah. There we go. Okay, we need a few of these around the place as well. Because it's basically symbolizing heat rising, stuff like that. Steam actually worked pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got some uh, crossing effects. What's this? Oh. That's right. Get back under it around there. Okay. Yeah, the, the steam is causing issues. I think 
can see it. Unfortunately. Like, it looks good, but it's causing issues. Right, we do need to advance move this, though. Put it underneath. Oh, we got a couple of them here. They're like... A couple of effects that are kind of overlapping here. Yes, delete. Now, did that did that fix it? Yeah, that fixed it. Yeah, we can have the water jets. I I'm imagine I'm gonna have to go around here and that way you can't see them. <laughs> Not that the guests care, I guess. Man, it is a little bit nutty around here. Okay, can I select? Any others? Some of these I placed are in a really great spot, not being able to see where I was placing them, and then some of them. Some of them are a little bit high. And some of them I can't touch at all. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's another one. I'm glad I seen it. Okay, that's all of them now. Whoa, what happened here? We're like missing like half of our effects. Oh, did I delete a whole... Oh, I forgot they were a layer group. <sighs> Dang it. I'm an idiot. Hold on. <laughs> I forgot that they were a layer group. Okay, so we're going to duplicate an advanced move. I'm actually going to rotate it like this instead. most of the effects in. That way we can fill up most of the space. There we go. That's actually pretty nice. I like that. So, it does look good. Like, it, it looks really good in here. Okay, now we just need, um, we need some lighting. Should be over here. I'm thinking these colorful floodlights might work pretty well uh, to kind of uh, shed some light on on the area. I think it's getting in position correctly. Oh, it's because it's... Dang it. It's so close to the top of my screen and it keeps... Alright, we gotta, we gotta turn that option off. That option is about to drive me batty. I know I had it on, or I turned it on, but... Um, let's see, that would be camera. Here we go. Uh, focus on senior, that's fine. Edge scrolling, here we go. I, uh... Oh, did I 
did I not apply it? Um, it's scrolling. Apply. Okay. There we go. Uh, building. There we go. So now I can. Yeah, that's much better. I want to put a few lights kind of focusing on the right here. But we got to change the color. I don't know, is that too much lighting? And the lighting's not actually doing anything, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think the lighting's doing anything. We'll put a light underneath it. Like a, a big old floodlight. Underneath the ride. So that we have some lighting. Um, like this. Now we just gotta find it. Wait, I'm not. My, I was gonna say, am I no longer allowed to put my camera in the terrain? There's that light. Okay. Oh, we got it selected. Submit advanced movement. So now the the um, hard bit. I don't want to sculpt this yet because I got to get the. Uh, um, I got to get everything else in place. Oh, you know what I might do? Um, or what, what should be done here? Let's get these box lights in. Oh my gosh, they they offer no lighting. <laughs> I thought they would offer some lighting, but. Never mind. They're not going to offer any lighting. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got scenery lock on. Hold on. Or align to surface. Alright, this light here. We'll select this light here, and then I'm going to I can't just click on this light, can I? Advanced move. Okay. No? Can I can I still not There we go. I wanna color this. Or not color this, but copy the color. Slightly brighter orange. And then yeah, control C. And this one. Uh, selecting these is like really annoying. I select this light here. I know it's in the terrain and everything, but 
Let me grab it anyway so I can change the fucking color. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> so annoying. Um, duplicate. It's just like there. Because I want to get like an orangey kind of... Like this provides a lot of light type of deal, you know? What? Dude! So you're telling me if I if I duplicate a light and place it, then it's not going to allow me to duplicate that light again. This is so freaking annoying. I don't know what to do. And how am I how am I going to do that then? If I can't select the freaking lights. Like I, I want to select this. Right. I want to select this orange. I guess uh, maybe a little bit brighter. I guess it'd be more of a yellow. Well, I don't know. Actually, would it be like this? Like, would that be the type of light that'd be shining, uh, or would it be like that? So I, as soon as I place this, oh, now it allows me to do that. Maybe it's like The Sims. Okay, we gotta do it like this then. down to where it's the lights connected okay now it's working because this lava is gonna give off a lot of light it's basically what I'm saying place a bunch of these. lights. There's like tons of them. And they're all giving off this orange, kind of orangey glow. Yes, that's what I wanted. Okay, now that all the anger is over. It's like, yes, that's what I wanted. Because yeah, this lava, like this, would give off a huge amount of light. Uh, it wouldn't be as dark as it was. Okay, now we, we actually got to do paint the terrain. I guess. Yes. And then we might roughen the terrain up in there a bit in a, in a little while. really cool in there. Train, I'm going to... 
to sculpting. I've got a pole uh, with that, but I don't want it to auto paint. I want it to use sampled from what it grabs. So I want to cover this entrance here. A little bit more. So then you, you know, you kind of see it from the entrance, but you also kind of don't at the same time. Because I don't want it to be a, a huge opening. Obviously, it's going to be kind of secretive. Yeah. You're pulling it out this way. Yeah, we'll, we'll cover the rest of rocks, I think. Okay, I want to flat the surface. Oops surface here, but I don't want it to paint grass. Oh. Okay, we need a smaller one. Oh, whoops. Flatten to foundation. That's why it's doing that. Okay. We're going to carve out a little bit here. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, and yes, like, like I said, we'll get rocks and stuff around there. Okay. That took several hours. So, but now we're going to do something a little more easy. Or not easy, but... Okay, flatten to foundation. Usually want this about 20 or so. Um, okay. All right, I just we're gonna do this. So this is going to help create our slope. Um, or not our slope, our, our mountain peak and our mountain top here. Connect it in with the, the mountain next to it. Let's turn this up just a little bit. That way, yeah, I don't have to try as hard. <laughs> like I said, we're going to connect it into the mountain next to it. Oh, we're going to turn back on auto paint since we're sculpting now. And we'll have to relocate some trees and stuff. That's fine. Oops. What this is going to do is it's going to pull this mountain out just a little bit, uh, just to kind of give us a little bit of a slope going, uh, down in certain places. It's going to help us slope, I guess is the correct term, not the correct way of uh, looking at it. This one is going to be a little bit weird. Um, it's like a, it's more like a valley than it. So yeah. And then you typically want a really skinny, uh, if you're going to go for a peak, you typically want a really skinny peak. That's fine. Okay. That looks re uh, relatively well. Uh, placed. So then I'm going to take my smooth tool. I'm just going to smooth this all out a bit. Kind of wrangle it back in just to get rid of those like this where you see these these edges here. Yeah, 
Okay, so we're just gonna rub, or smooth it all back out. As you can see, it's uh, looking a little bit weird. <laughs> That's okay, we'll fix that in time. We have basically had to make a new mountain here, so. Okay, so now that that's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm gonna take my chisel tool here, and I'm going to put it at an angle, just like we did last time, so kind of like that. And then, yep, we're just going to shave it down all the way down to the ground, basically. And we're just going to shave off giant pieces of the mountain uh, to create what looks like erosion. A oh, little bit of lag there. It's fine though. I'm not at. I'm not as good as I used to be, just saying. <laughs> and what you can do, is you can kind of shave those down. And you always want to start at the top if you're going to be shaving like this with the chisel tool, because it'll keep your angle. So, but yeah, like I said, you want to. Um, you want to keep your angle, uh, or keep holding down uh, the lighting there. It's kind of poking through. It might um, not allow that to happen. Okay, that's fine. What I'm going to do is, instead is I'm going to shave this way. And we'll just kind of... It'll poke through a little bit, but... Uh, why is our lighting poking through? That is really weird. Okay, we're going to have to be really careful then. Oh, whoa, that was weird looking. Oh, that's like, okay. So yeah, we're going to have to bring that back up. Let's get a, a slightly less steep angle. A shave width. You can do that by going to the top of your your peak and kind of like that. Just kind of fuck with it. Let's pull this out. There we go. And then, yeah, you want these kind of jaggedy edges and stuff like that. What you can also do uh, as well. And you can pull this down to like 10 or so. And then what we can do is we can follow these edges a little bit. Like this. And that creates a jagged, like the jaggedy edge. Um, from the erosion, basically. So then we can pull these edges up. And you only want to do, do it a little bit. You don't want to go too extreme with it. Um, in, so, in some cases you can't. Uh, go a little bit more extreme. But you kind of want it uh, relatively kind of poking out. That creates that er that erosion look for these types of mountains. And then I will. I'm going to heavily erode this one. Pull it all the way down like that. And what I'm going to do here as well is I'm going to kind of... 
Okay, we won't be able to do that. Uh, we're going to pull it then. I'm going to create like a little shelf here. Um, create like a little shelf there so that it uh, uh, doesn't look like you're going to get hit by fallen rock or falling rocks. Um, I'm also going to like to delete that path there. Train smooth that back out. Sweep this in here. Okay. And as you can see, it kind of gives it that... Gives it that look there. I'll we'll pull this one like this. Uh, and slip it downwards. Um, treat that one like that. You can actually pre-do these as well a little bit before you chisel. Yeah, by creating this little shelf here, I think. Um, poking through the terrain <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, that's how I, um, that's basically how I did my mountains. Um, and you always, obviously, you always want to do terrain first. Uh, and you can always go back in uh, if you're just like, I don't like that edge. Chisel it down where it's like this. Or make it more profound if you want. By grabbing that edge and pulling it like that. this. Yep. More profound like that, yeah. That's good. Actually, I'm going to take this and edge it back. And we'll have to put a few trees and stuff in here on this grassy knoll type area. Go to my multi-select. I'm just going to start selecting trees that we think might be floating or ones that we see that are floating. Select a huge grouping of trees here. That one's also floating. Um, those are close to being floating, but they're not quite there. Oh, I see another tree that's floating. Okay, we'll just grab that one too. That's fine. Uh, that one's about to start floating. Um, so is that one. Or maybe that one. Okay, I think that might be all of them that are floating there. And then our uh, advanced move. Just pull all those trees back into the train. There we go. It's okay if they stick out of the train a little bit. Alright, so go back into scenery. Back into nature. Let's get our let's get our trees placed back in place. Make sure. Okay. Align the surfaces off. This is basically what I do for hours. on this map. <laughs> Some of these trees I did group and like place many, many, many of them. Uh, many groups all at the same time. Okay, then we'll select a, a bigger version. Uh, 
Actually, it might smooth some of this, some more of this out. But uh, these trees placed. So yeah, basically, um, if you want to know where to put trees um, when you're doing stuff like this, the best place to know where to put trees is to have the game auto paint for you. And whatever surface is flat or close to flat, that's relatively smooth. So the, like all, like the green grass here is a good example of that. Um, then. Uh, that's where the trees are going to be on mountain in, or in mountain ranges and stuff. They're going to grow on relatively flat surfaces or relatively smooth surfaces. Basically, wherever they can root is where they're going to end up at some point. But yeah. So yeah, we'll just put a few trees in the green here. Just kind of re redo some of this. Put a few more trees up here. Maybe these trees like kind of survive the culling of the of the train falling. Okay. So yeah, and you can see by how they did their mountains and stuff like that. Um, I guess their mountains are not as... Uh, there's no trees and stuff up there. It's fine. Okay, and we've relatively tied that in. I am going to go terrain. I forgot to smooth most of this. So I want to kind of... Just, uh... Let's raise that up just a bit. I do want to kind of smooth some of this out so it's not so rough. But it's still rough as well. <laughs> and yeah, I wasn't going to spend several, several hours um, um, several, several hours placing uh, rocks and stuff like that as well. Okay, I think I'm done smoothing. good enough. It looks alright. It doesn't look as good as my previous work, but um, I tried my best, okay? <laughs> oh, but it's going to look so good in here. Look at this. Like, would you get on a ride that's inside of a cave like this? I know I would. I'd be like, oh, hell yeah, dude, that looks badass. Um, we are going to do a little bit of roughing. In a wide, like a wide area. Just to kind of give this some shadows and some lighting and stuff. Because, yeah, if they mine this out, it wouldn't be smooth. It would be, it'd be rough and stuff like that. No, I'm just doing a little bit. You know, I'm not going super crazy with it. Oh, it's hard to. It's. I'm not going to be able to do the ceiling. It's just, just too much. Just uh, so like, yeah, it looks like they, it looks like they mined it out essentially. That's what I want to go for. Yeah, they, they mined it out and create some shadows and stuff like that. Oh, that looks really cool. Okay. Very nice. We're only three hours into this. 
mess. <laughs> I may do this right and then be done for today. Which I think we're about done anyways. Okay. Sorry, my freaking taped up cord keeps rubbing against the table. And it since it's taped, it catches on the tape edges and it makes probably a horrendous noise. I'm sure. And it, it's really annoying me too because when it catches, obviously it vibrates my headset on my head and it tries to pull it off. And... Uh, I just can't really do anything about it. I'm sorry. I can't just go out. I'm not like other YouTubers where I can just go out and buy a new headset or whatever. <laughs> that doesn't exactly work with me. Um... Alright, so... Uh, we're at 154 grand. We're damn near at 4,000 people. We are doing good. Alright, I'm going to turn on my light so I can see. <laughs> okay. I've been fighting with this freaking camera all day long. Um, angle snap. Can we get this to level? Probably not, huh? Yeah, because I want to create like a bridge to that side. And then over here, let's place the entrance right there. Okay, we're going to have to Place the entrance. Right there. Pass. Q. Oh, I was doing regular path. Okay, hold on. That's why. Uh, oh, it's trying to... I see. Stop doing that. Go over the lava. So yeah, most of this space is going to be taken up by the queue. <laughs> meter path kind of going up this way there we go okay and then this will loop like uh, this will loop back around and whatnot so is I'm going to put a, let's get rid of that angle snap as well. Do that. Let's put one here. And connect that. Yes, we can. I want to kind of have these go around the outside of these buildings. There. Yeah, we can 
kind of angle that like that. And we'll put one here. And then, yeah, I can kind of act like back streets. Yes. I'm actually going to delete that. And we're going to as select grid. Yeah, well, we're going to bring this out all the way to here. There we go. And we can connect to it. We should be able to anyway. There we go. That follows the outside of the town. So you can kind of like do a circle, basically. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So there. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, weird. That was strange. I was just like, oh, that's perfect. And then it's just like, oh, wait. Not quite. <laughs> um, yeah, put that there. Yeah, and then we'll connect it. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, gonna put this like this. Let's see if we can wrangle it in here. Okay, that ain't gonna work because it's gonna take away from being there. So we'll have to do like this, and then yeah, we'll just have to do it like that. Okay, and we'll put like uh, bushes and things. I'm also gonna put like little paths four meter paths leading up to these doors. I just wish it would, it would connect like I want it to. Whatever. I guess it's as good as it's gonna get, huh? There you go. And then it makes it look somewhat realistic. <laughs> And if we want to put, like, um, we could, like, add, like, uh, doors in there and stuff. But like I said, I'm going to put, like, curbs as well. You can have it, like, do this and then do that. All right. Uh, this is kind of the, yeah, the major path phase. Let's get rid of the railing. Railing on ground path. 
just for this and this. There we go. And <laughs> then it adds like a little path there. Same with this one as well. I'll also do that. That's not bad. Wait, where am I? Oh, <laughs> I was just like, wait a minute, I'm lost. <laughs> Help! Okay, cool. And then, yeah, we'll fill this up with bushes and stuff later. Alright. Ground queue. Um, ground path as well. Um, hang on, snap. Should we just go straight here? What's happening here? <laughs> no idea what was going on there. There we go. Okay, and then a normal path. Um. Connect it and then place an accent to be right there, and then paths, make a little bridge, connect. Very cool. <laughs> that that's pretty crazy, actually. Okay, there's none too close, no exploding ones that are really close by. I mean, not that it matters, it's all water anyway, but... Like, it's it's like glowing water. I don't know. So now we're gonna open this ride. This should be like 10 bucks, man. 10 bucks to ride this sucker. We'll see. Because look at that, look at the right, so the right scenery is 100% and all that. Alright, let's see how many people ride it. I'm gonna just fast forward. Hey, look at that. Oh, Some people th probably think it's too expensive, huh? I wanna go on Porch 3! Actually, gonna rename it. I'm just gonna call it the Forge. The Forge looks too intense for me. Everybody's paying ten bucks yet on this sucker as well. I'm surprised nobody's hopping the fence <laughs> to get in there. Doesn't that just look cool? Okay. 
cheap? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Twelve bucks. <laughs> this bad boy. Ride camera. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Just gotta wait for everybody to get off and then get back on, I suppose. <laughs> the characters. I'm surprised they're able to ride with their hats and not lose them. Oh, we got a few more. Yep, another group. Okay, now we're gonna take off. Here we go! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Ooh, getting really close to that lava. At least we'll be able to see if we ever get rock. Oh yeah. I love it. Also, we can turn off our light camera. No, oh, we might need to pull out our terrain there a little bit. I can see the waterfall bits. Bit lag there. Wee! <laughs> this nauseating for anybody yet? <laughs> this looks cool though. Gotta say, it does look cool in here. What you pay for it though. Oh my gosh, dude. We're upside down now. Looking at the lava pools. Yeah, we never hit the uh, terrain. I'm watching like uh, the seats around me and stuff. Now this is a ride worth riding. <laughs> that was a ride worth riding. We got close to the terrain, but we never actually hit it. Man, that's that looks the coolest as well. Yeah, it's the lighting that sells it, I think. Oh, I'm inside, <laughs> I'm inside the building. Yeah, I think we'll decorate this later. But, uh, yeah. That looks really good. Should we get a picture? Um, can we, is there a photo mode in this game? What was it? It was Control... Control Shift G. Okay. Oh, I can't... Oh, there we go. It's like I can't rotate the camera. Oh, look at this. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to get the camera placed correctly in order to see it uh, properly. Wait, what's the... Let's see, settings. What's the free cam, right? Oh, free look. Allows the camera to freely look around. You can use T to toggle, free look. Um, from within the game. Q and E to rate. Okay, free luck. So, T. Oh, there we go. And then, Control Shift G. Yeah, this is what I wanted. 
so we can get a nice screenshot. That looks really nice. Move my mouse out of the way. I'm gonna wait for the ride to like settle. Was it O to change simulation speed? There we go. There we go. Then F12. That is a cool freaking screenshot, man. It was Control Shift G, and then it was T to uh, get our camera back. Okay, cool. I think we did a pretty good job. We got a few more rides in um, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I'm going to call it here because, like I said, I'm uh, feeling a bit uh, tired. Um, that does that did take a lot of energy, I think, to, to put that. But we've got the dock ready. Um, we've got some more pathing uh, cleared out and stuff like that. So. Yeah, that's going to be it for this episode of Planet Coaster. Only played this because I was trying to find something to take up a few hours. Um, that wouldn't, you know, uh, that wouldn't require too much of a commitment <laughs> on the on the side of gaming. Like I could quit at any time, stuff like that. Yeah, like I said. Uh, hope you enjoyed that episode, um, Planet Coaster. I enjoy playing it. I enjoy these type of games. Planet Coaster is one of my most favorite. Um, I can't wait for the second one to come out. But, uh, yeah. Uh, if you watched all the way through, I thank you for that. Um, hopefully you'll, you know, give the video a like and whatnot. <laughs> and subscribe and things like that. If you want, that's up to you. Um, but until next time... When we uh, play some more of this, um, whatnot. Uh, if you feel like it, uh, almost forgot. Uh, if you do feel like it, the the map is in the description of this video. Uh, it's in Steam, so it's a, it, it is a Steam Workshop mod. Um, I guess it's not really a mod. It kind of is, but kind of isn't. Uh, if you want to download, not this, not this park specifically. It's just the map. It's um, called like Alpine Start. Um, but it, uh, yeah, the uh, the Alpine start. If you want to check out the map and build your own park there, um, figure out what you want to do with it. Um, but yeah, until next time, a goodbye.